commitment You're an embarrassment Yes, an embarrassment A living endorsement The intention that you have booked Was an intention that was over but, here in the UK we're seeing big differences with the moon. It seems to be a lot larger, but again, it is a strange colour. Now, I just said moments ago, haven't I, about the, uh, the moon. And on this photograph, which is genuine, it's a real photograph, not being filtered, not being messed with, it's 100% genuine. Because that's what we are. We are genuine people that want the truth. Now, look at that red haze, but to the left side, can you see the strange colour of the moon? I believe that that reflection on the moon is from these other known incoming objects. We all know what's coming. Now, let me zoom into the moon here. Here it is. Now, it does look different, doesn't This, what you see on the screen, is a big change. It should not be this color. Shouldn't be like this, rising in the heavens. Why don't you do some research and educate yourself instead of making crap up? Here, let me help you. The moon depends on the sun for natural light, which reflects on the moon's surface. So the sun's position affects the moon's colour. The Earth's atmospheric content, things such as cloud levels, dust, moisture, also has an effect on colour. Let's start with a red moon. This is generally due to a total lunar eclipse. When the Earth is located between the Sun and the Moon, sunlight is prevented from hitting the Moon's surface and the Moon looks red. The red is due to Raleigh scattering, the same thing that causes red and oranges at sunset. And how about a yellow or orange Moon? When the Moon is large over the horizon, it is closer to the Earth's surface and this means it has to travel through more atmospheric particles, such as dust. The particles scatter shorter wavelengths of light, like blue, and leave behind longer wavelengths, like yellow. A blue moon is pretty rare, maybe about every three years. The colour is due to increased smoke or dust in the atmosphere, and can often be due to big forest fires or volcanic eruptions. A grey moon is when large atmospheric particles and eclipses are not changing the moon's colour. It just looks grey. The lunar surface is largely covered with elements that produce this rocky grey colour. This is the true colour. A bright white moon is an optical illusion. It's about high contrast. It only looks bright because it looks so light surrounded by the darkness. The bright blob you tend to see in photographs of the moon is just that cameras tend to be ill-equipped to take decent moon pictures. The moon can be intensely lit and a wee bit reflective and this can result in a washed out image full of nothing but glare. So there you have it. Nothing malevolent or mysterious about the colours we see the moon to be. All perfectly normal and natural, and most certainly not indicative of rogue planets in our solar system. But the facts don't really fit with your agenda, do they, Matt? Before I go, let's have a quick listen to another of Matt's pearls of wisdom from the same video. Many people in the past have caused this to be ice crystals, but it's not because we're seeing this in midsummer when the temperatures rise. It's quite simple. The higher up in the sky you go, the colder it gets. The troposphere starts on the ground and ends about 18 kilometers up. And the higher it gets, the colder it gets. Sun halos are not limited to specific seasons of the year and depend on a viewer's vantage point and the sun's position. Whenever cirrus clouds are in the sky, sun halos can be seen. I'll end this video by once again offering up the invitation to Matt Rogers to join with me in a live hangout for a polite, sane and sensible conversation about his claims.